Yo, 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 what up, what up? Raise the roof. It's your girl, Sue Leapy. And your number two this girl from the hood. This died, <laughs> There you go. What, 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 what? Um, so, it's nice speaking to you. Yeah, we haven't been trying this forever. <laughs> not at no, all. no, no. Definitely not. This is the first time we've spoken to each other yeah. for four years. So nice. Um, yeah, so... Should we get into the t-shirt? Oh, you had an idea, didn't you? I've heard Little Birdie told me you had an idea for a way to <laughs> approach this review. <Yes. laughs> no, no, no. This is your video, so you take control. I've don't add, don't add, no, this is under the palm tree. This is our collaboration. Just do a little recap before the second episode. And then at the end of our recap, we choose who brought the charisma, who brought the uniqueness, who brought the nerve, who brought the talent. Um, like so we're gonna like talk it. about like cunt, basically. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> you lost me there. So yeah. So go on. So what? Did, so what? Okay. What do you think? A of the season, B of the queens generally, and that's my <laughs> questions actually. I can't wow. Else. Um. So this season is like, like general overview. I think it looks great. All the queens seem to have like big personalities, like. I think it's going to be mm. sad to see each and every one of them go because every one of them brings something different to the table. Yeah, I so, completely agree. Yeah. Apart, from, apart from who? <laughs> already <laughs> shady, Robbie. already shading it up. Yeah, I'm really not keen on Robbie. Are you not? I, so, so far. It could change. It could change to me, but so far look, I'm really not keen. I, I don't know. The Seattle queens, you know, they can always turn it in the end. Yeah, Jinx did. But Jinx was like endearing from the right from the word go. Whereas Robbie's like Magnolia Crawford two point oh, she's just been bitching about the material she was giving given. She just gave up before she even got on the runway. Do you know what I mean? It was just us getting really Magnolia Crawford vibes, plus the comedy stuff. Yeah, I think well. she went in a bit too confident, but then after after this struggle she might she might review herself a bit. She needs to check herself before she wrecks herself. Hopefully. I'm I'm still I'm still open to being swayed sexually. <laughs> But at the oh, moment, I'm just not keen. Um, yeah, I think of all the queens, I mean, I love them all. I think um, even the one that I thought was quite shady, because you thought Robbie was quite shady. I thought Derek was quite shady. Not that mm. charismatic after all. But to be fair, she is impersonating Britney. Mm. Br Britney is not like a charismatic diva. So yeah, she's doing that, a good job that. at impersonating Britney, I would say. And her photo in the first challenge yeah, was no, my favourite. Like, but. Yeah, she she dominated that challenge. She's really good in that, and I feel like like I um, said in my other video, I'm really enjoying like her Britney mannerisms. It's fascinating to watch for me, like her little the little thing yeah. she does, like it is spot it, on Britney, and it just it just fascinates me how close she can get it. Like that's her. Ta I know I know that is her talent. That's what she says it is, but that's the most enjoyable thing to watch about her for me is like how spot on yeah. she gets it. I think um she's I mean she's been doing this sense. for years, and she yeah, she does it. Yeah. But not that long. Actually, I know it's been years, but I, I thought it would have been longer. I can't remember how long she said it was on the show, but it's been what? I can't remember how long did she say oh, it was. Oh, I don't remember. Like oh, four that, years or something? Long. I thought it was longer, actually. That's what I mean. It wasn't that long. It could have been slightly longer, but my point is I would have thought like 10, 15 years, but she's only been doing it for like yeah, five or something. I, don't, I didn't realise. Question, who is the hmm. oldest queen this season? It's got to be I think acid, acid right? definitely. And who is the youngest one? I think Naomi yeah, is the be. youngest one. Right? Naomi. She's 19, right? Is she right? 19? No, I think she's 21, no? I think she's 19. <gasps> God. Is she? She's impressive. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I forgot my facts. It's been a week. Well, <laughs> we came prepared. You know I don't retain, inf you know I don't retain information. Well, comment on below <laughs> and correct us of everything that we said. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um... Uh, but so yeah, so general overview. So you're excited about the season. You're excited, excited about the queens. Mate, you're getting I'm your getting life. life every every minute of every day. Sorry, I'm looking at you now, and it looks like you're living. I just want to confirm that you are in fact actually well, living. Well, I'm I'm getting my life on a daily basis. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Right, so come on, let's go for your thing. So cr cr charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent. So who do you think had the most charisma? Who's your Ooh, charisma me. of the week? Sorry, one second. I my I. <laughs> Oh, yes. Get in there. You're getting right in there, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. The charisma was brought by... Uh, oh, my fav... My, my fav... Um, my, like, spiritual animal this season, I think, is Chi Chi the Bane. 
I just love her. I think she was well charismatic. She really like surprised me because I I kind of underestimated her when I was watching the meet. Yeah, she she commanded she commanded more of the, like the attention slash energy or whatever than I would have expected she than I expected she would have from her Meet the Queens. She seemed quite reserved and laid back. That's how she comes yeah. across initially. But she's she's actually quite sort of like what's the word? Not like in a good she's in a good way. But she's quite like in not, she's like present. She's yeah, very present. no, she is. She's I think I don't know, I, I, as I said before, I think she gives me some she she gives me some um ah what was the face again. The other, the queen from season six. Oh yeah, she's a Jocelyn bit like Fox. Jocelyn Fox. Like she's not. She could, yeah. It's like dark horse, black horse quality, competition. But she's, but she's resourceful and she, she's really mm. like funny and I love that she like eats roadkill and <laughs> I love that she. Yeah, and bangs for days. And what? Bangs for bangs days. Bangs for days when she was flattening, flattening, yes. earning that bang. It was just too much. <laughs> yeah. It got the realness was too it much. It was amazing. I loved Instant it. respect. So Instant respect. respect. It. <laughs> like, it's just me in a nutshell. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it so really that is. was. I thought um, her and Thorgy Thor were the most were the most charismatic ones, but Chi Chi is like me. So I love her. <laughs> okay, fair, fair, fair. Um, I would say. In terms of charisma, I would say Acid, just purely because she commanded so much of the attention. Like, all the focus seemed to be, like, when they were in group situations, the focus seemed to be on her quite a lot. I know she did it in quite, like, a boisterous way, and it's probably not everyone's cup of tea. And I'm not saying she's particularly, like, overly nice or anything, but I just think she's quite charismatic. Like, she's just very much fair in the room, and, like, you have you can't not, you can't help but look at her sort of thing and respect her in a way because she is, like, this other creature. And, do you know what I mean? Am I being too much? Is it too much? Just step it no, down to calm myself down. You obviously want to, like, grab her pin or something because you love her <laughs> so much. I really do. I don't see... I, I want to just, like, just... I think she's talented. I just don't think she's that charismatic. And she was mm. a bit shady towards Bob, which That's I, I mean... don't accept ever. <laughs> She's definitely, I think, she, I can see her turning out to be an absolute nightmare this season. I think, you know, I did a 180 on her from the, her Meet the Queens, where I wasn't that keen, uh, to really liking her in the first episode. I can see myself doing another 180, like, in a few episodes' time. I think it's going to be a turbulent, a turbulent re relationship with me and Betty. It's a roller coaster of emotions it. with Acid Betty. I love it. It's going to be. It's going to be. It really will be. <laughs> we got the tissues ready. The tissues ready for any occasion, you know? <laughs> it's got to be. Okay, number two, uniqueness. What? Go on, you go. You go, uniqueness. Uniqueness. Um, I choose Bob because in the Untucked, he was like the first time, like the he he came up with the idea that they should critique themselves because they didn't get to be critiqued, and that was amazing. I thought that was that such was a great idea. idea, and it was so funny. And yeah, she's she's bringing all the tea and all the realness and all the lols, and I love her. Yep. Yeah. No, I completely agree. That was an amazing idea. I loved Bob for that. And if she's, she's like, a, a, she's funny. She's a laugh. I would agree. She, I, I'm, I, she's close to being my choice for uniqueness as well. But for me, I'm, I was just thinking about, like, because obviously it's all old challenges they had to tackle um, and like reinvent themselves, like tackle the old challenges. So I'm just trying to think of who took an old challenge and made it completely unique to something completely different. Yeah. With and for me, it's either going to be. Um, Kimchi or Layla, just because I thought those two looks were so different from the original challenges. Yeah, I think Layla was completely robbed there when she had to lip sync. I don't get it at all. The general consensus as well is that why did she have to lip sync? Her outfit was awesome. She looked really good. That's a general consensus. I don't know why she had to lip sync. And they, they thought her bottom was too simple, but like, if she's having, she's, she has like, major shoulder construction blah 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 which is supposed to do like yeah. something big on the bottom no she kept it simple because you need to no it would look stupid it would look... have been over the top they would have read if it been over the top yeah, and she... been too much absolutely and she had fucking boots going up to her asshole i don't understand yeah yeah i love her makeup as well and like a look like a red contacts with the like heavy glittery red makeup again i've never seen anything like that it was race. really good she really turned it you know what I'm going to give Layla uniqueness after this conversation because I might bring back kimchi for a later one, you know? Save kimchi. So, Layla for uniqueness. Fair, fair. So, yeah. So, we agree that that lip sync was a sham. 
Yeah, it's the hump. Yeah, completely. completely. It shouldn't okay. be. So, um, nerve. Yeah, go on. I thought Derek had the nerve. First of all, he had the nerve to like come up to the runway wearing about <laughs> five inches of fabric and rely on that body like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> and mm. Mm. it was very calm and career, wasn't it? It was, was very calm and career. And it, I don't mm. know. It, at the same time, it was like he was having way too much like stuff going on, like little Christmas shit going on everywhere but at the same time mm. not a lot of fabric at all it was just i don't like mm. and then like just to have that it just about worked for me but i see what you're have that little gag with the thing on her fanny it was not didn't save it to me and she mm. like mm. like right on right at the back she was giving nerve giving diva and then when she got to untouched she was like oh so layla through through naomi under the bus blah 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 just like and then and it completely yeah, failed because yeah. they were like oh sorry oh okay <laughs> like completely mature about it. i'm gonna i'm gonna steal derek for my choice for nerve as well i completely agree huh? with everything you said you turned to girl you won the trophy <laughs> you saw the light literally. yes <laughs> So I was going Mate, to I'm agree there. Um, <laughs> you really are. <laughs> so should we move on to um, t uh, talent then? What's the last talent. one? Talent. I thought yeah. um, who brought the talent was Latrice Royale when she walked in. <laughs> she always brings all the yes. talent. Yes. <laughs> you know what? Actually, I'll dispute that. Who brought the talent for me was definitely 100% Raja. She was dominating yes. the challenge. Yeah, she was. <laughs> Did you notice? Do you know, it's all she did. She, she wore the same thing she wore in the photo shoot, but just held a cake. She walked down the yeah. runway holding a cake. Wearing exactly well, they don't have a lot of time. They can't just do like a thousand. The other ones did. The no, they did. didn't. They did. Look at Chad Michaels, for example. Completely, did she? Completely Violet Sharon didn't. Needles. And so they did Sharon Needles. Violet did not. Oh, actually not. I can't remember. Yeah, you're right. Violet and Raja didn't. But Sha I think Sharon did. And... Um, who's the other one? Shed, uh, Chad Michaels oh, yeah. did. Um, most of them did. Most of them looked that different. That is quite odd. But Raj just literally walked down holding a cake. But it just really clashed, like her dominatrix thing. Just sort of <laughs> clashed, like, walking down that way with a cake. <laughs> I love it. I love that face thing. <laughs> yeah, she could put anything Oh my off, god, yeah. She was giving me Hannibal Lecter, like, down. <laughs> Boots down. Yeah. Was it the same mask? Was it, was it the same mask she was wearing in, um, the Lady Marmalade video? I don't know. The Heathers? You know, the No. Running? The video where she sings with Carmen and. Oh, damn it. Uh, Delta Work and Raja. I have seen and, it. You gotta, gotta link, link, link me up. Have Manila. It. Have you not seen it? Seriously, I'm sure you would have watched it. I'm sure you would have watched it. I don't think so. Oh, I'll send you a link to the videos. They all look fit, hasn't it? <laughs> I'll link you up. But on a serious oh. note, but not Go so on. serious. <laughs> Because we're talking about fucking men in dresses. Um, no, we're, no, we're taking it seriously. The talent was brought to me by Kim Chi, who served it from the get-go, giving me... You, you I, seen that from me? I bagged no, that you earlier. Did. No, because you knew, you knew I was going to say Kim Chi. She served no, I didn't. Purple I know Fantasy I did. from the get-go with nails yeah. the size yeah. of, like, everything. And then yeah. she yeah. got hair. Do you, understand? Do you understand what she said when she came in? No, what did she say? I can't remember. I can't, I can't understand what she said. I listened to, I listened to it back a couple of times. I just didn't get it. I don't, I don't know. She doesn't have to say anything, babe. <laughs> no, she, really she really doesn't. doesn't. Uh, that's true. Um, but <laughs> then she was really cute as well. And then she got all that hair yep. in the color of poop for the runway. And she was like, "Oh, what do mm. I do with all this poop hair? Oh, I'm gonna do like a major lion, uh, fierce fantasy and sort of." It was amazing. It was amazing. amazing. It's constant talent the whole way through. Even the photo shoot was good, to be honest. There was she was just good the whole way through. And also, even as a dude, like she was like hilarious so in her cute. boy interview bits, and and she gave her story as well, like a depressing oh, backstory. God. She's got talent in all areas, her, apart from no, her wait, mom is in complete denial. <laughs> I know. <laughs> How can you not realise? It's like, oh yeah, this Asian person with the same face structure as you, you made her look like, amazing. Can you imagine, like, Lynn, your mum, looking at a photo of you with some eyeliner yeah. and being like, oh no, my son is a makeup artist. <laughs> yes. You know Lynn well. You can imagine that. Come on, mum. Just 
fucking except yeah, that you do you think I, but at the same time I believe what Kim she's saying I don't think she's exaggerating no not at all I believe that her mum is like just blind <laughs> like literally yeah, yeah. And dumb, because like, who wouldn't yeah. want kimchi as a son? She's amazing. I know, I know. Well, I'm sure she'll see the show and like the reception kimchi's gonna get out of it, and she'll be I, sold. I, I think so. She's she's gonna be really proud. I hope. Yeah. 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 So is that your talent as well? Yeah, hundred percent. Like she had talent for days, all the way through, yeah. nonstop talent. Love her. Love her. Also, but actually, on this note, on this note, as we're on kimchi. To me, I was. I think if Dax was in a different season, I would be supporting Dax a lot more. But to me, Dax seems like a poor man's kimchi this season. Like she's rocking the geek thing, but she's what I've noticed about Dax is like Dax has Dax always has to tell us that she's like the geek queen, whereas kimchi she just, just is. is like she's just like an epic, massive geek queen who just dominates. Whereas Dax has to constantly remind us, oh yeah, by the way, I'm the geek queen, like king of the nerds and all this stuff. I'm, do you know what I mean? But kimchi actually is, you, not Dax. Do you know what I mean? Is that harsh? Really, it's, it's true. <laughs> Look, right? if you got to tell the tea, you got to tell the tea. I'm going to tell Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm I not back. that impressed with Dax thus far, but we'll see. Maybe she'll bring something different. Yeah, no, I'm definitely, like, um, as you'll see from my uh, Nasia thing, if you watch my video, about after she um, got booted off, I don't... I was I was sort of disappointed she went so early, so I was excited to see what else she had to bring. But looking at her Instagram and YouTube, I sort of feel like I got the I got the idea from the first yeah. episode anyway. Whereas with Dax, I don't think we've seen like anything from Dax really yet. So I'm definitely want to I'm definitely excited to see her in the like next episode and hopefully next few episodes and see what she. Yeah, can no, bring I'm. I'm really she hoping she she does bring the sort of uh, uh, Comic Con style. And uh, maybe do something yeah, like Fifi is doing. Fifi is, is Fifi has become yeah. the queen of mm -hmm. nerds, so maybe she can. Good point. Actually. She can Very raise the bar point. then, and yeah, be more like Fifi. The way I look at it is Dax is like I know we didn't <laughs> yeah. always say that. The way I look at it is that Dax is like more of a comic book geek, and in Kim she's more of a anime geek. Yeah, could, could that, could, that could definitely be room for both. It just has to be done well. Yeah, true. Totally agree. Um, yeah, you got any final thoughts? You so you you completely support the winner, and do you think Nasha should be the one to leave? Wait, kimchi. who was the winner again? Oh, Kimchi, right? Yeah, of course, one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. I think Robbie should have been the one to leave, based purely on that, based purely on the challenge. I think Robbie should have been the one to leave, but I'm not upset. Nasha went. I I wouldn't be upset if Robbie went either. Yeah, they're probably the only two queens I can think of who I wouldn't. I'm not upset about going. The rest, the rest, I would be upset. I think. To be fair, I think, I think Robbie could still be really interesting in a uh, acting challenge or maybe even a comedy challenge. So, yeah, I, yeah I'm, I'm, I am, I am kind of happy in a way that she stayed and she can prove herself. Maybe, um, but it was really yeah. sad to see Nasha. She really like, she really, she was so broken up, and I was really sad as well. I was like, oh, but that. Yeah, I know she was really sweet, but if you're coming to season eight and you can't sew, seriously, no, no, nah, exactly, not buying it. I'm not buying what she's selling. Like, try just try to sew one dress before you go into the show. Just one dress. She even said she, she even said when she left, like, I wish. No, that was it. It was on that. I watched Michelle's "What You Packing" thing. What you packing? And she said, like, Michelle's like, should you? You know, should you know how to sew if you go on drag race? And then she's like, absolutely. I probably should have learned when I found out I was going to go on the show. Yeah. It's like, yes, it's obvious. You should no. only just realise that now when you've left. <laughs> it's obviously going to be a sewing challenge, at least at some point. Unless you think you're only going to make it through one or two episodes and just hope the first episode isn't a sewing challenge, that's the only way you wouldn't bother to do it. But if you think you're going to make it to the final, there's definitely going to be at least one sewing she challenge. She was just really, so like, out. relying on being beautiful, which she is, but wasn't enough. Yeah. It's season eight. True that, true that, true that. It's very rude. Um... Yeah. So you got yeah. You got anything else? Any other final thoughts on the first no, episode? No, I think I think we covered all bases for the children. Cool. Same here. I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this. Also, it's gone on for a surprising oh, amount of time. Um, unlike my sex life. <laughs> Sorry about <laughs> it. Can I do a tongue pop? <laughs> I know. Yeah, go on. You do know I'm a master of the. <laughs> okay. Okay. Go cool. on. No, I'm ready for this. Shut up. I'm not clenching. I'm not clenching. No, 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 that didn't count. That was, that was alright, compared to your normal time clock, no, that was that pretty was good. No, that was lame, I can do a better one. Okay, okay try again, try again.
Oh, that was perfect. That, oh, that was so bad. That was way worse. Yeah, that, that was, was really perfect. quiet. One more time. Okay. One more. <laughs> that was okay-ish. I think it sounds better because you're the echoey room you're in. If you were here in person, no one would be impressed. <laughs> I'm going to put echo on it. If I can both edit this, which we all know I can't, I'd put loads of echo on it and make it like super deep and repurpose it. Look, you're not even trying yourself. <laughs> so do, do a tongue pop. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Same. Oh, shit, that was really bad. That was actually. That was better. There you go. <laughs> that was lame. There you go. Okay, should we tell the difference? No, that was alright. <laughs> no, guys, don't be so demanding. Come How on. Are you? Okay, and don't forget to subscribe. Yay! Oh, two under the palm tree. <laughs>